Can you tell me about your mother? My mother was one of the most amazing people. I attribute everything to her because when everybody laughed at this idea, go to Africa, write, you know, live with animals, write books about them, which began when I was 10. And I found this little book in a secondhand bookshop with no money to buy new books. I would save up any little penny I had for secondhand books. And I found this little book, which again I still have, called Tarzan of the Apes. And so of course I fell in love passionately with this glorious Lord of the Jungle, and he went and married the wrong Jane. So, <laughs> so this was when my dream began, and everybody laughed at me. How would I get to Africa? You know, the war was raging. Africa was the dark continent, very far away. Nobody knew much about it. Uh, we didn't have any money, and I was just a girl. I couldn't. Well, why was I dreaming such nonsense? But my mother would say, if you really want to do this thing, you're going to have to work really hard, take advantage of opportunity, and never give up. I don't know that she said it quite like that in that way, but that was the message the whole way through, that, that I was not laughed at for having a dream like that. Where did she get her strength? Was your grandmother very strong as Very well? strong. My grandmother was immensely strong. And my mother's sister, older sister, she was one of the very first to qualify as a woman as a physiotherapist. I was thinking about, you, you know, being you at 10 years old and female role models, and I realized that there wasn't even a queen at that point. Oh. So did you have anyone to look up to? Well, there was Florence Nightingale. Okay. I remember stories about her and um, Madame Curie. Those, those were two women that that we had stories read to us about them. So that's something too, mm -hmm. okay. And books, books really spurred you. It seems books were kind of the internet of your time. It was no, the there was no, yeah, there was, there was, you know, there was radio and books, that right. was it. That was it to get no new No TV. Ideas. Right, mm. and so you fell in love with books and you thought, I'm gonna go to Africa and write books. That was kind of the plan since 10. Go to Africa and live with animals. Okay live with wild animals. It wasn't Africa, it was the animals. Okay. And, you know, I, I had brief times thinking about going to Canada with the wolves and the bears, and then the jungles of South America. You know, I read a book called The Green Hell, and I was fascinated by the anacondas and things. So it was the wilderness that attracted me. Okay. But Africa, especially, and I think that was Tarzan. <laughs> Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.